ASIO's most celebrated agent was debonair Polish émigré, Dr. Michael Belaguski. In the late 1940s, the staunch anti-communist secreted himself into Sydney's Russian social club. In the early 1950s, he met a regular visitor to the club, Vladimir Petrov, the third secretary of the Soviet embassy in Canberra. Petrov set out to recruit Belaguski as a Soviet spy, unaware that Belaguski had offered his services as a secret agent to ASIO. Belaguski wore a minifon wire recorder. Stop! What's that strange noise? And it emitted a squeaking sound from time to time. Something I hate, Vladimir. Let's go. Come on. Petrov was many things. He was a dissolute kind of wretch, but he wasn't stupid. And I think Petrov realised at some point that Bielaguski was and had been all the time an ASIO agent. Of course, Petrov was recruited by ensuring that he remained progressively more addicted to alcohol. So I wouldn't want to suggest that the KGB are the only people who understand uh, spycraft. In February 1954, Belaguski arranged for Petrov to meet secretly with a senior ASIO officer to discuss his desire to stay in Australia. Six weeks later, Petrov defected in a blaze of headlines. Petrov brought with him a number of documents taken out of the residence safe, the head of the KGB safe uh, in Canberra. Two weeks later, at Darwin Airport, en route to Moscow, Petrov's wife, Evdokya, defected in dramatic circumstances. And of course, then there was the drama with Mrs. Petrov. And it was only later they found out that she was in fact a colonel and senior to him. Vladimir and Evdokya Petrov were extraordinarily valuable for Western intelligence because they'd lived their whole lives in the KGB. And so when they defected, they were able to tell American, British and Australian intelligence officers an enormous amount about who was who in the world of Soviet intelligence. This was from the horse's mouth. There is no doubt that the Petrov operation brought great credit to ASIO, it brought great credit to Australia. Dr. Michael Belaguski, the debonair undercover agent had given Australia's spy agency its first counterintelligence coup and helped expose the activities of hundreds of KGB operatives around the world. <laughs> 